fun. Hey guys, I about trains here. And like a typical salesman, I'm gonna give it to you straight and to the point. Today, Union Pacific signals through the entirety of the UP system will be on this video. So you're gonna about ready to learn a lot of new things today. So sit back, relax, and let's get this going, shall we? And here we have our first card here as a proceed indication. So for these cards, for every single card you'll see today, you'll read it from top to the bottom. So on the top of all these, for the most part, is a green indication, which means proceed. The rule for this signal is found at 9.2.1. Name is clear. Indication is proceed. And the second signal here is in a flashing yellow on the top. So this would be in an advanced approach. Rule is 9.2.4. Name is advanced approach. Its indication is proceed, prepare to stop at second signal. Trains exceeding 40 miles per hour proceed, prepare to pass the next signal not exceeding 40 miles per hour. When signal governs the approach to a control point with a 40 mile per hour turnout speed, be prepared to advance on normal or diverging route. When the next signal is seen to display an aspect more favorable than a diverging approach or approach, the requirement to proceed prepare to stop short of the second signal is no longer required. That's the indication for that signal. And now for our approach indication, which all the top signals have a solid yellow color to indicate an approach. So the rule is 9.2.6. The name is approach and its indication. Proceed, prepare to stop before any part of train or engine passes the next signal. Freight trains exceeding 30 miles per hour must immediately reduce to 30 miles per hour. Passenger trains exceeding 40 miles per hour must immediately reduce to 40 miles per hour. When the next signal is seen to display a proceed indication, the requirement to proceed, prepare to stop no longer applies. All right, now this signal is a restricting signal. Typically, it is a moon color, as you see on the top left. It's a moon color or a lunar color to show a, as a restricting. Typically, you, you find these in uh, yards of any capacity. And now this rule is 9.2.13. Name is restricting for the signal. And its indication is proceed at restricted speed, not exceeding prescribed speed throughout turnout when applicable. So our next signal here is a restricted proceed and those boxes with the two X's in the middle are meant to be a number board this will be very important on the next card it'll clarify something but this is a restricted proceed the rule number is 9.2.14 name is restricted proceed an indication is proceed at restricted speed so this is predominantly the speed that we go within a side uh, yard limits very important to know. All right. Now, this is the signal that if you do not follow this signal, you are getting fired. No question of doubt about it. So, this one at the bottom says, without number plates. So, this is a absolute signal or a basically it's what a control point is. This is operated by CTC. So, if you blow past this signal, you're getting fired. So, this is a stop indication here. This is rule 9.2.15 name is stop and its indication is stop before any part of train or engine passes the signal they should have added on to that and says if you go past this signal you're getting fired because that's more accurate and now we begin our distant signals and we start here with a distant signal clear this is under rule 9.1.1 name is distant signal clear indication proceed if delayed as per rule 9.9 .9 or rule 9.9.1 .9 between this signal and block or interlocking signal, proceed prepared to stop before any part of train or engine passes the next signal. And here we have our distance signal approach diverging. And this is under rule 9.1.3. Name is distance signal approach diverging. Indication. Proceed prepared to advance on diverging route at next signal at prescribed speed through the turnout. And here we have our distance signal approach indication here. This indication is under rule 9.1.2. Name, 
Distance signal approach. Indication. Proceed to paired to stop before any part of train or engine passes the next signal or switch point indicator. The maximum speed is 20 miles per hour plus within interlocking limits or within the limits of the control point for which distant signal approach is displayed by the distant signal. And now we have our advanced signals here beginning with our approach clear 60. Now really quickly before we continue, do you see the blinking green light indicator? That, pers that gives me the indication that it is a approach clear 60. It'll be apparent come the next card. The rule is 9.2.2. Name is Approach Clear 60. Indication. Proceed. Trains exceeding 60 miles per hour. Proceed. Prepare to pass the next signal not exceeding 60 miles per hour. When signal governs the approach to the control point with a 60 miles per hour turnout speed, be prepared to advance on diverging route. And now we have our approach clear 50. Again, we have that solid yellow, and rather than a flashing green, we now have a solid green, which indicates to me as a conductor, clear, approach clear 50. Rule is 9.2.3. Name, approach clear 50. Indication, proceed. Trains exceeding 50 miles per hour, proceed, prepare to pass the next signal not exceeding 50 miles per hour. When signal governs the approach to a control point with a 50 mile per hour turnout speed, be prepared to advance on diverging route. One of the most common advanced signals is this. This is the approach diverging signal indication here. Rule is 9.2.5, name approach diverging, indication, proceed prepared to advance on diverging route at next signal at prescribed speed through turnout. Now again, we got one of those lunar signs again. So this is a approach restricting signal indication. Rule is 9.2.7. Name, approach restricting, indication. Proceed prepared to pass next signal at restricted speed, but not exceeding 15 miles per hour. When the next signal is seen to display a proceed indication, the requirement to pass next signal at restricted speed no longer applies. So these are really cool. These are cab signals here. Now when I operated on Union Pacific, the locomotives that I was in contact with did not have these operational. They're only for certain subdivisions within the UP system, but they read very similar to your typical basic signals, but just for the cab. So this is a proceed cab signal indication. Rule 9.3.4, name clear, indication, proceed. Super simple. So this is a point. cab signal for the advanced approach. So rather than it typically having a flashing yellow light, it's a circle that the upper half of it is a solid yellow and the bottom half of the circle is a solid green color, which indicates an advanced approach. This is rule 9.3.3. Name is Advanced Approach, and it's indication. Proceed prepared to stop at second signal. Freight trains exceeding 40 miles per hour must immediately reduce to 40 miles per hour. Passenger trains may proceed, but must be prepared to pass the next signal not exceeding 40 miles per hour. For this cabinet signal, we have a good solid approach. So it's basically a full non-blinking approach yellow indication on the cab signal. Rule is 9.3.2, name approach, indication, proceed prepare to stop before any part of train or engine passes the next signal. Freight trains exceeding 30 miles per hour must immediately reduce to 30 miles per hour. Passenger trains exceeding 40 miles per hour must immediately reduce to 40 miles per hour. And now we have our final cab signal, which is restricting which is a circle cut into halves again. So the top half is a solid red and the bottom half is a solid yellow. All right, now we're beginning to get into our diverging signals. And down there it says without number plate. So if a signal has a number plate, it is not a control point. These signals and 
every single diverging signal is a control point, just frame of reference. So this is a diverging clear. Rule is 9.2.9, .9, name diverging clear, indication. Proceed on diverging route, not exceeding prescribed speed through turnout. Here we have our diverging clear limited signal indication here. So it's a red on top and a flashing green on the bottom. Rule 9.2.8. Name, diverging clear limited. Indication. Proceed on diverging route. Speed through turnout must not exceed 40 miles per hour. In this signal, we have a diverging advanced approach. So, solid red on top and a flashing yellow on the bottom. Gotta love that wall of text there. All right, rule is 9.2.10. Name is diverging advanced approach. And it's wonderfully long indication. Proceed on diverging route, not exceeding prescribed speed through turnout, and be prepared to stop at second signal. Trains exceeding 40 miles per hour, proceed prepared to pass the next signal, not exceeding 40 miles per hour. When the next signal is seen to display an aspect more favorable than diverging approach or approach, the requirement to proceed prepared to stop short of the second signal is no longer required. When signal governs their approach to a control point, with a 40 miles per hour turnout speed, be prepared to advance on normal or diverging route. And no, I promise this is not a stoplight. This is a diverging approach clear 50. And again, no, it is not a stoplight. Rule 9.2.16, name, diverging approach clear 50. Indication, proceed on diverging route at prescribed speed through turnout Freight trains exceeding 50 miles per hour must immediately reduce to 50 miles per hour. Passenger trains may proceed, but must be prepared to pass the next signal not exceeding 50 miles per hour. When signal governs the approach to a control point with a 50 miles per hour turnout speed, be prepared to advance on diverging route. All right, this is a diverging approach diverging signal indication here. Rule 9.2.12, name, diverging, approach, diverging, indication, proceed on diverging route, not exceeding prescribed speed through turnout, prepared to advance on diverging route at the next signal at prescribed speed through turnout. And here we have a plain, good old, diverging approach, signal indication here. Also, to identify that it is a diverging signal, it will have the red indication up top and a yellow underneath to always signify a diverging signal. Rule is 9.2.11, name diverging approach, indication, proceed on a diverging route at prescribed speed through turnout, prepare to stop before any part of train or engine passes the next signal. Freight trains exceeding 30 miles per hour must immediately reduce to 30 miles per hour. Passenger trains exceeding 40 miles per hour must immediately reduce to 40 miles per hour. When the next signal is seen to display a proceed indication, the requirement to proceed prepare to stop no longer applies. All right, so since Union Pacific is a great big rolling railroad that doesn't do no passenger service, we have these, we're supposed to know them, and so I'm gonna tell you with this anyway. So these are passenger signals here. So this is an advanced approach passenger. It is with the diamond shaped C plate and with or without number plate. So if it has a C underneath the signal, it's a commuter service or passenger service. Note to self. Rule is 9.2.4 P. Name is advanced approach passenger and indication. Proceed prepared to stop at second signal. Freight trains exceeding 40 mile per hour Proceed prepared to pass the next signal not exceeding 40 miles per hour. Passenger trains may proceed, but must be prepared to pass the next signal not exceeding 60 miles per hour. When the next signal is seen to display an aspect more favorable than diverging approach or approach, the requirement to proceed prepared to stop short of the second signal is no longer required. 
And here we have our diverging advanced approach passenger. Again, with diamond shaped C plate and without number plate. This is rule 9.2.10p, name, diverging advanced approach passenger. Indication, proceed on diverging route at prescribed speed through turnout, prepare to stop at second signal. Freight trains proceed prepared to pass the next signal not exceeding 40 miles per hour. Passenger trains exceeding 60 miles per hour must immediately reduce to 60 miles per hour. When the next signal is seen to display an aspect more favorable than diverging approach or approach, the requirement to proceed prepared to stop short of the second signal is no longer required. And here we have our crossing warning device malfunction signal indication at the beginning of our oddball signals. Our rule is 6.32.2, name, crossing warning device malfunction, indication, stop. Rule 6.32.2a, procedure 1 applies at the crossing. And their easiest one to read, which is a slide warning indicator signal. To apply to trains governed by fixed signal with which connected and it will be illuminated. So this is basically for like broncoing. So there's like a scout vehicle or a high railer kind of like guiding you through a, a, a slide warning area. So about every, about every two miles you've got a radio and they, hey, radio check this and that. So yeah, thankfully I never had to deal with one of these signals. Rule 9.4.1 name slide warning indication when signal requires movement at restricted speed to next signal keep close lookout for rocks or other obstructions and broken bent or damaged rail so guys that's it so please let me know what you guys thought about the video in the comment section i'd love to hear what you guys have to say so like always i'm wiped out trains Thank you so much for watching the video. Chances are you got to the end of this video and you're obviously liking what I'm doing. So if I could ask kindly for a like, comment, and a subscription, which would help this channel grow and the model railroad hobby grow. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.